Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your August 2022 prediction and forecast with me. So we're just gonna hop right into it. There is a lot to unpack here and I wanna let you know that this is a safe space. I'm letting you, anything I say is for your best and highest, okay, good and interest and um, I'm coming from a space of love, okay? So, Cancer, your energy is all about nurture, comfort, and protection. And I just feel like I'm in love. This is the mother, no? Okay, Cancer energy is like home. Cancer energy rules over house four. And house four talks about cultural and family roots, home, peace, and comfort. Okay, so your home and your immediate environment is really important to you, okay? And this is always prominent, prominent, prominent or prominent in your energy, Cancer. Um, we do have conjunction here, which is about a union emerging and coming together. So things are coming together for you in the month of... Um, in the month of august and this could have to do with like just how you feel um i feel like you are gaining some type of a renewed sense of confidence here in the month of august and that could have to do with um i feel like you're going to be feeling more protected by the universe protected by spirit really connecting to this water energy that is cancer um what does it mean to be at peace what does it mean to have a home or to be at home what is home what is being comfortable where do i come from with my culture and my family like who am i why am i here okay this is mother energy cancer okay so you could definitely be divine feminine um watching um you don't have to be though um could definitely be masculine watching welcome masculine and feminine energy um we have cardinal energy so this is cancer aries libra capricorn energy which is about instigation bravery and a pioneering spirit so you could be like really uh starting something new here i feel like this is in connection to this confidence so i feel like you have a renewed sense of self a renewed sense of confidence you're approaching life in a different way in a more confident way in a more empowered way um there is a sense of things a lot of unnecessary being removed from your life in august and that has to do with the Pan panther spirit and the scorpio energy here double confirmation of things um being purged out of your life and like i said we also have renewing here with the scorpio energy when things end scorpio energy is about things ending but when things end something is reborn from that so you could just um a sense of rebirth is here and i feel like this has a lot to do with how you think truth okay there's some sort of truth and clarity coming out in the month of august and i feel like this has this could have a lot to do with like your family family ties um generational you know generational i don't want to say generational curses but <clears throat> there's an emphasis on if how you grew up isn't is is strongly connected to like 3d programming you are you know awakening to that truth realizing what's not true and creating good karma from that by being aware of the truth and sticking to that and sticking by that um, so I feel like you're connecting to the truth. You're gaining clarity. You feel like your third eye is opening here in the month of August. And then we have a confirmation of um, 
Things being cleared away with the angel of clearing, your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. And I can definitely see that with the octopus and the hummingbird, you're needing to set boundaries in the month of August. You're being asked to set healthy boundaries and I see you doing that. And with the hummingbird, it's about like being grateful for the little things like what's one thing that you can do every day to that's going to be beneficial for your restoration for a bountiful day you know whether that's having a consistent like meal in the morning breakfast or your skincare or drinking a certain amount of water or saying an affirmation in the day but keep filling your own cup with the hummingbird and being happy um enjoying the little things and knowing how to fill your own cup and enjoy the life that you have because it is glorious and precious even though i feel like you've like you know this is definitely someone who i feel like who's been under the programming which we all have but i feel like you know some of us deal with it are, um you know we all have different paths um so we all have different struggles this is someone who has definitely been asleep who has awakened and who has done a lot of the work themselves who is doing the self-work and um you know things are going to come together for you because you are doing that work with the five of pentacles energy it's like you've been oppressed and suppressed and this is a lack mindset you know that you've been in for some time but i feel like you're awakening to that and you're going to start to create your own blessings because you are following truth okay you're following your soul's purpose we have God of Spiritual Healing. It says an aspect of you or situation in your life is in need of healing. Okay. And I feel like this is in regards to how you think. And. You know. Yes. Your solar plexus energy. What thoughts you're giving attention. What you're thinking on a day to day. How you're preparing for your success. We have angel of relaxation one of my favorite angels it says let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want with the eight of wands here this is a lot of energy this is a lot of opportunity of passion of work um of action like this is a this is someone who's eight of wands energy is like who, someone who has a to-do list someone who has things planned who has things to do people to meet money to make um you know someone who's blessed someone who's done the work someone who's creating um blessings for themselves because they are consistent with their efforts okay so i see abundance coming towards you um yeah with the three of wands is about growth and expansion balance we have sagittarius energy you could have sagittarius in your chart possibly um but this is a time for you to balance like your personal life and your work and career and just really waiting for i feel like you're going to be at the right place at the right time <coughs> you might have virgo in your chart um But yeah, I feel like you're really changing your perspective here in the month of August, Cancer. So I really like that for you. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to clarify these cards a little bit. We do have judgment to the Ace of Swords. Again, you're really awakening, having a deep awakening um, about the world's truth, about your own truth. Okay. Um, you know, there's a lot. There's there's a lot to be <laughs> to be brought to light, and so I feel like you're following the light, and so there's just one truth here. There's a bunch of lies with the Ten of Swords. It's about you know just pain unnecessary thoughts um cloud cloud cloudy judgment i feel like for too long you've had clouded judgment but now you're coming to 
the light you're coming to truth you're coming to seek clarity you've been a truth seeker you've been in the dark for too long and now in august you're coming to light this is a true you know soul awakening self-realization okay when i was younger i found uh it's like a church but they call it fellowship and it's called self-realization fellowship you can look it up and see if there's one in your city but that fellowship or church really helped me a lot helped me to realize myself which is what church should be about and we have the eight of wands to the nine of pentacles beautiful you are again there's opportunities coming towards you in regards to finances and money okay i see money flourishing for you in the month of august because again you've done the work and the universe is going to reward you for that you can relax and let go of desired outcomes and you're going to get what you want okay again two of wands just confirms that you're doing the work you're taking the necessary steps keep doing what you're doing this is about getting out of a lack mentality five of pentacles and going to an, an, an abundant life because you're grateful for those little things because you know how to restore yourself take care of yourself okay you create your own reality so i'm gonna leave that there for you cancer i really hope this resonated with you like the video subscribe and leave me a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next reading i'm sending you guys all the love guidance and abundance bye